we are looking to expand Gymshark into the Middle East and more specifically to expand Gymshark into Dubai. This is hot now, this is really hot. <laughs> I've been to some warm places, but Dubai in July is hot. And we're going to the best lifting gym in Dubai, which I'm really excited for. This is where a lot of the people go, like YouTubers and stuff, when they're visiting, when they're in town. Oh, the fancy cars! Oh, look at the Lamborghinis all sorts yeah, in here. It's like a footballer's car park, isn't it? Your membership price is high. Yeah, yeah. Compared to other gyms, so near 1,200. It's 40 degrees, and they're playing paddle on the beach. All right, gonna go and beat them. <laughs> I'm super excited. Train <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yes, I'd love to train in there. Got hairs on my chest now. <laughs> So Ben, is it past your bedtime? Yeah. Well, no, it's actually not. It's half eight or quarter to nine, something like that. And I'd normally want to be in bed for nine. And Robin will tell you this. Every minute that goes on past nine o'clock, I start to get increased anxiety because I want to be in bed. So yeah, I'm going to be a bit tired for the next hour or so till we get on the plane. And then hopefully get on the plane and fall asleep. So yeah, we, we don't, I think we board in about 45 minutes. So once we're sat on the plane and in the seat, and I can just settle in and close my eyes. I'm assuming, okay, it'll be this way as well. This is, this is nice, isn't it? Very hard. I also need double decker from Paris as well. Oh really? How was the fight Ben? The fight was good. Slept the entire way. Still a little bit tired to be honest, but landed into the ride, go through immigration and get to the hotel to freshen up before the first of two very big days. <laughs> So there you go, that was a Casey Neistat moment where we leave the camera and walk off and we got nervous and had to run back and get the camera. But we've landed in Dubai, feeling good and excited. Now, Dubai in July, for those of you that don't know, it's very warm. I'm about to walk outside in a jumper. That's all right, I can deal with that. That's, That's all right. right. But it's only like eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, now that's hot, <laughs> isn't it? So today it's going to be about 40 degrees. Well, I say every day it's going to be about 40 degrees. So, but I think we'll be in AC a lot of the time. Yeah, so we're just waiting for our car, which is like on this Emirates service, and we're going to head back to the hotel. That's really warm. Oh, that's like walking into an oven. That one. What is the? What is the temperature? It's going to get way hot. It's only half eight. Oh, so today we're 38. Hot. Oh, and then look at this Friday when we're gone, goes up to 44. This is like a supply trip. So, for day one, we're jumping on a minibus with our guide Hamza, who's going to take us to some of the best gyms Dubai has to offer, starting with a downtown business area. Unfortunately, due to local laws, we weren't able to record in all of the gyms, but don't worry, we managed to film the best ones, so stay tuned for those. So, the first place we looked at, both are in the same hall. First place that we looked at was more like a studio place, so they have three different studios. They have a spin studio, yoga studio, and it's almost like a bit more of a hybrid studio. It reminds me a lot of like the boutique sort of gyms you get in London, LA, New York. And then the other one was a gym called Warehouse Gym, which was more of a conventional sort of weightlifting gym. I'm not sure where we're going to next, but the thing that we've already noticed is the quality of the gym team is outstanding. It's very, very impressive. We've been to two gyms and I still haven't seen any gym sharp as well, which is both good and bad. Bad in the sense that you'd like to see more here, but good in the sense of it shows there's a massive opportunity for gym shark to uh, expand into the Dubai area. So yeah, now we just headed over to the third location. How cold is it? No. Jesus. No wonder everyone goes to colder places like Spain in the summer. This is hot now, this is really hot. <laughs> so this is where we're going now. So we've been to a studio gym, a lifting gym, and now this is a mixed martial arts gym. I've been to some warm places. Dubai in July is hot. Between noon and 3 p.m. that's the highest temperature. So it's still not warm enough, it's warming up yet. It's only half 11. I want to do, like do 10k at 1 o'clock this afternoon. What? <laughs> you really? No. <laughs> so I know that you can barely see anything. It is that hot and humid that the camera is completely steaming up. It's literally, you could swim through this air. But anyway, we're into the next gym. This is more of a lifter gym. I've been told this is sort of like the number two lifting gym in the area. So yeah, looking forward to seeing this. At 5am. Hopefully we'll see some more Gymshark in here. I'm going to steam up now. Thank you. That was a really good gym. That felt more like a proper gym. Uh, in fact, I say proper gym, more of a mass gym. So there's more, I guess, locals training there as well. 
as tourist visitors and so on. And they were probably sleeping up right now. It was very, very, very hot. It must be pushing 40 degrees now. But now we're going to the, apparently the best lifting gym in Dubai, which I'm really excited for. And apparently this is where a lot of the people go, like YouTubers and stuff, when they're visiting, when they're in town, they'll all go and train. All the big lifters will go and train there. So, so but that was really good. And it was good, like there was a bit of Gymshark in there. There's lots of different brands as well. And it's funny, like we were seeing loads of brands, but again, it's nice to see the Gymshark's being worn here, considering we've done nothing. So a lot of the people that are wearing Gymshark realistically would have bought in different parts of the world and then brought it here in their suitcase when they're visiting or living here. So yeah, massive opportunity here. And it feels like everyone's heard of Gymshark as well, which is nice. So, yeah, but now we're gonna to go to the next gym. Apparently the biggest and best gym in Dubai. After Mitch and the guys had a breather and my trousers began to spontaneously combust from the heat. I can feel the heat getting trapped in my trousers. It's that warm. We headed over to what is widely considered the most expensive gym in Dubai. Well, actually, it's a two-digit car. Yeah, it was a two-digit yeah. car. What is that? So the, the plate number oh, is, is two, more expensive the, than oh, the car itself. All the fancy cars. Oh, yeah. So there's loads of like fancy oh, wow. people here. So we're meeting the, the founder and the owner, Anis. That's Anis, right? Yeah. yeah. I've heard about this car. Oh, I look at the Lamborghinis all sorts yeah, just in here. here. <laughs> it's like a footballer's car park, isn't it? Union jet bike, it's cool, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> Why do you think your gym has been so successful in Dubai? First one, we so good to everyone, all the famous, we know them before we open the gym. Yeah, yeah. And we have everything, so whatever the people they needed, it's like they will find it. Yeah. The training, there's a salon, there's a food, there's everything, protein. Yes. And your, your membership price is it's high. It's high, high much. Yeah, yeah. No. Compare other gyms. So no, no, I don't know how much, like 420, 400. 500. 500 now, 500, mm -hmm. yeah. so here 1,250. And have, have you slowly increased that over yeah, time? Yeah. yeah. We was, when we start, we start, it's like I think 420, we are 250. 250? 250. 250. But we change, we change, we change. And is yes. it, do, you, do you get a lot of tourism? I mean, people come here to train, who are coming yeah, on holiday and yeah. stuff? Yeah. And for a day, people for a day, they pay 200. I really like that gym. I'd love to train in there. I would love just to have a load of pre-workout and go train in there. I think I'd want to leave muscle mass just walking around. Yeah, yeah I feel like I feel stronger <laughs> having been in there. Got like hairs on my chest now. <laughs> like food restaurants, barber shops, some creative agencies around here. We may as well just walk to the next place. There's meat in there. Hot no. It's hot. Next shot. I think it's quite nice. So hot mat. Jack, you're not supposed to be videoing me. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Why are we not supposed to be here? I'm not supposed to be anywhere. <laughs> I'm, strictly, I'm strictly back office, not front office like you. Back office. office. I'm back office. <laughs> you're back office like you. Literally, <laughs> brief office is like the thing, isn't it? All the studio. So they're quite popular in London as well. So, so you say this does well because of the elite trainers they have? Yeah. Like Peloton style, they have like a following themselves. Exactly. So I, I was paying about 400 dirhams a month, so over, over, nearly close to. You know, I was paying 475, so over 100 pounds a month. Yeah. I was really frustrated with it, like the AC never works and stuff. I was sort of quite drunk one night with my best mate at the time, Brian. Who, it was after the rugby seven, so I was like, oh yeah, I'm probably going to get fired in the next month, so I might go back to Manchester. I said, oh, what else could you do? So we started talking about this idea of affordable fitness. So now he'd got an affordable fitness background in Australia mm. and that was it, a month later we both quit our jobs and started, go. started on this. And How many locations so far? So we've got 11 now, we're the biggest in the UAE now, we've got 55,000 members so first we're, we're the biggest, they've got about 35 currently. Mm. So yeah, in four or five years we've really sort of delivered on the yeah. ambition. It looks quite big doesn't it? It goes all the way back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is 35,000 square feet. The combat sports scene in Dubai is rapidly growing, with the likes of Khabib, Floyd Mayweather and George St. Pierre all working out of the TK MMA gym. We headed over to see what all the hype was about. No chance. No chance. Go on. Not in, public. Not, not in public. I don't want to embarrass everyone. It's cool, isn't it? Cool, so this is um, TK Fitness, I think it's called. It's mainly an MMA gym. Full on gym as well. And it's on the top of the building.
in this room. Everyone, I mean, everyone's a PT mm -hmm. in Dubai. English, English, right? Everyone's a PT or real estate agent or a model. Yeah, yeah. Literally, PT, everyone's making money. Like you know, UK, PT is hard, it's a hard game unless you're yeah, in central yeah, London. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's taking home here on 10, 15,000 pounds per quarter yeah. a month in PTs. Don't forget, there's a gym in every building in Dubai. Yeah, yeah still, four or 5,000 active members. It's quite good, you know? Yeah. And with social media too, everyone's got, bro, you walk around, it's like a joke, they all have their tripod set. Enough, yeah. Every yeah. day they shoot, because we've got outdoors, so it's very Instagramable, yeah, yeah. so people flying all over the world just to do uh, workouts outside. Why do you think your place gets covered by that? Do you think it's because of the view? Or is it yeah, but we all, like, we're also different with our social, we repost and post the customers. Mm. We don't, like, I don't do such professional shoots where we get the reels, but the customer does it, because we put their on there. Yeah, so yeah. Sometimes there's people like, I'll get DMs. Why is my video never been posted? I've taken yeah, you know, it's like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like it's, a, it's like a people's gym, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ours is because of the MMA. We've got how we get a lot of the fighters coming through here. Yeah. UFC Abu Dhabi October, so you, it'll be full of camp. They all come here for. Oh, really? So yeah, since Fight Island happened, it's just crazy. Yeah. Here, retail style, amazing. Yeah. Like I said, people don't really trust online. They do in the Amazon and stuff, but here retail works a lot. The malls. I mean, some of that everyone goes to malls. Yeah, there's nothing to do. That you have to go to malls. It's not like UK. It's 50 degrees soon, so everyone's in malls, in malls, and yeah, yeah. retail does well. So that is day one done in Dubai, and today was genuinely an amazing day. It was so good to be, you know, I guess at the grassroots in the gyms, you know, talking product, talking with customers, meeting people. It was, yeah, it was a great day. The gyms were amazing. I was genuinely really, really impressed by the gyms. The quality and the investment that's going on here is outstanding. Fitness is clearly incredibly, incredibly important to people in Dubai. It's like there's so many different fitness disciplines that the quality of the mixed martial arts equipment and setup out here is the best I've ever seen. Genuinely the best I've ever seen in the world. Weightlifting, cardio, CrossFit, everything. I've been told as well outside of the peak summer season like this when it's not quite as hot there's all sorts of run clubs going on as well so it just feels like a place that is on the up it's on the rise there's a great atmosphere here people are optimistic there's you know even helpful for us there's a massive british population out here as well so there's a lot of people that have already heard of gymshark and ultimately it's a place where people are constantly trying to better themselves so yeah, having that understanding of the market of the gyms and the customer has been absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant it's been really really helpful so we're logging off for today. We're going to be wandering over here. We're going to go near the Burj and we're going to be having some food. We're going to chill out for the night because tomorrow we're going to be meeting with some partners who will hopefully be helping us make Gymshark a reality here in Dubai. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off and show you this amazing view. Mm, look at that. So now we are literally going to head down here somewhere. We're going to get ourselves some tea tonight. Do a day, yes, we do a day. Okay, yeah. ready? Take it away, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so today is day two. We're just in the uh, car over to Dubai Mall and we're meeting some potential partners today. So fingers crossed, today is the important day. We really need today to go well. We're going to be talking about the market, the opportunities out here. We're going to hopefully be looking at some potential store locations that we could, out, could have out here as well. Uh, I believe one's in the Dubai Mall, potentially the Mall of the Emirates if we have time. And there's also an events pop-up space over on Jumeirah Beach, which we're going to be looking at. So I'm super excited. I've seen a massive opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, yesterday just reinforced that, didn't it? How big? I think we, we knew the opportunity was big coming out here, but yesterday just reinforced how big the opportunity is. So I think we're more excited today than we ever yeah, have definitely. been. Paddle on the beach. <laughs> what? So, look. Can that you believe cool. that? Like, nice. it's 40 degrees, and they're playing paddle on the beach. <laughs> I mean, why are you going to join them? <laughs> no. All right, I'm gonna go and beat them. <laughs> <laughs> that was when you cut and then we cut and then what? We'll go and we'll tan. On the beach. I want to go and have to get yeah, you know they're going. Yeah, you know they're going. Alright, love. So that is day two done and it was very, very warm today. It was a very successful day. Meetings with the partners went incredibly, incredibly well. We've I had a look at some space and I think that I was really, really impressed. I think it's a great opportunity and I'd be really excited if we could get that space. And then we went down and looked at some potential pop-up spaces and there was one on the beach as well, which I thought was really, really good. We couldn't film that much today because they're slightly more strict in, in terms of filming laws here than they are at home. 
but hopefully you could get the gist of what was going on and understand how the day went. So yeah, finishing up, it was an amazing day. I was really, really happy. We're now gonna chill out, do some emails and some work for an hour or two, and then we're gonna be all going out for dinner tonight together. Yeah, then after dinner, we are probably just gonna chill out for an hour or two because we fly home back to the UK at 2 a.m. tonight. We will end up going to the airport, I think about half 11, something like that. And then yeah, get straight back home, land, and then catch up with work. What does a CBO do? In fact, what is a CBO? Well, very few people know it actually stands for Chief Bag Officer. And what it means is you have to follow the founder of your shareholder around and carry his bags. It's a good job. Is this true, Ben? This is an upgrade from the previous job. <laughs> And that is the end of the Dubai trip. So we were in Dubai for what, 36 hours all in. We are now flying home back to Heathrow and it has been a very quick trip, a very tiring trip, but a very, very productive trip. Leaving really happy, really enthusiastic, excited, ready to bring Gymshark to the Middle East. So yeah, feeling tired. I'm looking forward to sleeping on this plane. We'll fly back now.